G'day guys, how you doing? And today we're going to talk about this guy right here, the Celestron Focus Motor. All right. Now before I show you guys how to install one of these on the Celestron Rasa 8, I'm going to talk just a little bit about how I've enjoyed shooting with this and the reasons why. When you're shooting, well, sorry, when you're trying to get focus um, of the stars in this little guy right here, and for me, I'm using my iPad to get my focus, I'm looking at it, I'm slightly bumping the telescope, and then I've got to wait and let it settle, and then I've got to try and finally tune that focusing weight, let it settle, have a look, and it's, it's a bit of a long process, but ever since I've been using this guy right here, I haven't had to touch the back of the telescope and I've just had to use the hand controller to dial in my focus and that has helped out incredibly actually I've actually 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 <laughs> um, improved my focus even more when you're shooting with f2 optics the focus becomes more critical so being able to really finally uh, adjust your focus um, without having to touch the back of the scope and use this guy right here been an absolute ripper I love it all right well with all that being said let's install this focus and I'll show you just how easy it is all right so second step by using the uh, Phillips head screwdriver that's supplied with the Celestron focus motor we're going to remove these three uh, screws here to take off this uh, cover plate all right now the thing is you want to keep um, these three screws so you don't want to lose them okay and they are quite small and they can be quite uh, fiddly um, to take out and drop just like that so you don't want to lose them <laughs> so once that's done we're just going to remove the, uh, the old cover plate and we'll get on to the next stage. So now that our old cover plate is removed, the next step is to install the new cover plate for the Celestron Focus Motor. All right, the Celestron Focus Motor comes with two uh, cover plates here. Now for the Rasa 8, I'm gonna be using this one here with the slight cutout, okay, in the plate itself, all right. If you're uh, just watching this video to see how easy these things are to install, um, but you don't own a Celestron Rasa 8 and you want to know if the Celestron Focus Motor is compatible with your telescope, then check out the description below and I'll list all the uh, um, telescopes that are compatible with the Celestron Focus Motor. All right, so I'm just gonna grab this one here with the cutout, place it over the, uh, the focuser, and then by using my Phillips head screwdriver and the three screws that we took out earlier and yes I do mean three because I did find the one that I dropped we are just going to screw this plate back on okay so as you can see my cutout here is facing towards the center of the telescope and I'm just going to put in this first screw so it just, just holds the, um, the plate on there just a little bit to make it a bit easier to put the other two screws in. Okay, and now the third. Alright now I haven't quite done these up completely because what I want to do is just make sure it's fairly well centered. Okay and that looks that looks pretty good to me. Now to do up the rest of the screws as well you need to follow a bit of a pattern. Alright so I'm going to start with the top and then rotate clockwise. Okay last one now now once that's all done you don't want to over, over tighten um, those screws okay because then the plate might be resting up um, against the uh, the focus bearing all right so 
it's going to be very very tight to turn so once you've done up those screws there it's very well centered just turn the focuser okay and make sure it's not sticking and it's, it's turning smoothly all right so once that's done we'll get on to the next step okay so the next step is to grab your electronic focuser all right and the very first thing we want to do is make sure these two markings line up your arrow and this marking here okay to do that we're going to use this guy here which is applied with the uh, focus motor and you're just going to place it over like so and then just pull it down okay until your arrow is aligned with it like so all right now the next thing we're going to do is on the back of the the focus motor you have like a little um, grub screw okay now tightening up this uh, grub screw here will clamp down on the back of the focuser but we don't want to be installing that like so otherwise it's going to be very very tight so we're just going to grab our allen key into the grub screw here and just loosen it off okay so it fits over there quite nicely as I said, we don't want to force anything on. The moment we start forcing things together, we're going to do damage to the scope, and we don't want to do that. All right. So once that part there is done, the next part is we're going to be using an adapter sleeve. Okay. Now we need to use an adapter sleeve for the Rasa 8. All right. Because this little focuser section here is a lot smaller than um, the uh, the allocated uh, hole in the back of the, the motor itself. Okay. So, to do that, we're going to get our adapter sleeve, okay? Now, this adapter sleeve comes with the focus motor, so it's, again, it's another thing you don't have to worry about buying um, when adapting this focus motor to the, the smaller scopes, okay? So, it's very simple to install. What you're going to do is grab your adapter sleeve and just place it through the ring itself and then do up that little screw that I just dropped. Okay, guys, just a quick word of warning. Don't lose the little bloody screws, okay? They are a pain to find if you drop them and you end up taking twice as long to find the little buggers than it is to actually install the unit itself. All right, so once you find your little screw that you've dropped, you then do it up, okay? Once that's done, the sleeve is nicely secured to the back of your focus motor. So the next step, is to mount the focus motor to the scope. All right, so now we're ready to attach the focus motor to the back of the RASA 8. But before we do that, let's do a quick recap and make sure everything's correct, okay? Our alignment arrow is aligned to our marking here on the focus motor. All right, so that's correct there. Our adapter plate is installed, secured with the screw, and we've undone the grommet screw here on the back of the, um, uh, the clamping mechanism here. And I think I may have uh, forgotten to mention this. There's also another little grommet screw at the back here that secures the adapter um, sleeve onto the uh, focus motor, as, uh, onto the focus knob as well. Okay, so if, you have, if that's not, um, if you haven't installed that yet, um, install that, but don't do it all the way up. Okay, just install it so it's um, uh, just catching onto the adapter plate, okay? Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to grab these two little, as you can sort of see here, you've got two screws, Allen key screws here, and you just want to do them up a little bit so they just feed through uh, the back. It makes locating these two holes here a lot easier. All right, so we're just going to slip the focus motor over, and it's that easy to sort of, um, locate those two holes just by doing it like that. Then we're going to do up the focus motor. Jeez, really? All right, so once we've uh, tightened up our uh, screws here, as soon as it catches, we just want to give it a slight tighten. We don't want to over tighten anything. All right, so now that that's done, we're going to now do up our uh, grommet screws at the back. Now, I don't know how easily it is for you guys to uh, to see this, but uh, I'll do the best I can. There's two grommet screws, one here and one up here. If we're gonna uh, tighten up 
um, so that way the mo uh, the uh, motor is now attached to the um, the focus uh, knob itself. Okay guys, so now the Celestron focus motor is now installed onto the back of the RASA. It's time to uh, connect the cables and power it on. Now, the first cable we need is this guy right here which is uh, supplied with the Celestron focus motor. Okay, and that just plugs straight into the uh, auxiliary port here on your Celestron focus motor and then into the auxiliary port on your mount okay so that's that part there done this here is going to help with um, using the hand controller to get your focus okay the next part is to install power to the focus motor now you can do that by using one of these connectors here under the uh, focus uh, under the power um, section of your focus motor or how I like to do it is I use this USB cable here okay now this USB cable runs to my um, ASI Air and it just plugs in like so okay now this cable here is not supplied with the focus motor all right so you might have to go out and buy one um, yourself or if you've got a lot of uh, telescope and cable equipment and everything um, laying around you might have one spare all right so now that that's all done we're going to go jump on our uh, hand controller and calibrate the focus motor all right now with our um, hand controller here we need to make sure that it's got the latest firmware update okay to be able to control the focus motor now this hand controller is the old style hand controller. It doesn't have a USB um, connector at the bottom. So it works perfectly fine with the, uh, the focus motor itself, okay? So once you've installed and updated the firmware, we're just gonna go onto uh, menu, scroll down to focuser, okay? Enter on that and then we're going to go down to calibrate you enter and then enter to begin and now it's going to begin its calibration process okay so the focus has just finished its calibration it didn't take that long maybe about three minutes or so okay now once that's done we're now able to use it all right so in order to use it all you're going to do is you're going to go back to your focus and menu you enter and then scroll down to where it says move in and out. All right, press enter there. And now you can adjust the speed of your focuser. Okay, so what I like to do is set it on three, hit enter. And then by using these two arrow keys right here, I adjust my focus, all right. Now three being the faster or the quicker movement. If my focus is quite a fair bit out, I'll use this. To start to get in, uh, to start getting my stars in focus. Once I've done that, I'll press back and I'll switch the rate to maybe one or maybe two. Okay, once I've hit one, I'm adjusting it and it is incredibly fine uh, adjustments there. All right, so that there is how I'm able to achieve really good focus now with my Celestron Rasa 8. Even better focus than I had before, just manually doing it by hand. Just a quick note, as you know, my focus motor is connected to my ASI Air. The ASI Air cannot control the focus motor. It has to all be done through the hand controller and that's completely fine by me. Absolutely, I have no issues whatsoever with that. All right, well, if you've enjoyed this video, guys, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave a comment and if you haven't uh, already subscribed to this channel please do 
Every subscription uh, means a great world to me. I absolutely love it, and I love sharing all my uh, yeah, astrophotography adventures and whatnot with you guys. So, uh, yeah, until next time, guys, take it easy. See ya.